focusing on what makes you, you, and celebrating you. There's no comparison with self-awareness. It's not who am I versus this person, so I need to increase these so that I can become that. It's about figuring out who in the world you are. Until you figure out who you are, there's no reason to even spend a second trying to develop because you're trying to develop you until you know who you is, then how can you do that? And so it's figuring out those strengths and weaknesses, but going all in on your strengths. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! Flying solo today. There's no uh, wolf pack on this side of the camera. We've got like 13 people on that side of the camera, maybe 18 different cameras going on uh, right now. But this is ex episode 63. 63 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and I'm going to be tackling this one solo. And we're going to talk about the topic of taking ownership. And I just want to start off with a question What does taking ownership uh, mean to you? What does it mean to you? When you think of in terms of your life, what does taking ownership mean to you? Uh, to me, it's living life on your own terms. Um, living the life that you want to live, you controlling the actions, you controlling your schedule, you controlling whether or not you're able to do things that you love to do or do things that you hate to do on a daily basis. And a topic that we've discussed here recently is this idea of setting the temperature. Uh, so taking ownership is setting the temperature in every room that you go in. So no matter if there's five people, 10 people, 100 people, no matter if there's angry people, happy people, sad people, you control the environment by taking ownership in every area of your life. And so my job really today on this podcast, uh, it's not really to show you how to do anything in regards to taking ownership. Uh, I think really what my job today is is to make sure that you recognize that you already have everything that you need uh, to be successful. Uh, it's already within you. Uh, it's just about taking ownership in that you will actually take action on those things that you already possess and will do something about it. So number one, I wanna talk about self-awareness. And this is gonna be the first key to taking ownership of your life. Self-awareness, it's a huge buzz word, trendy topic. Everyone's talking about it these days, but not a lot of people really get into what it actually means. Uh, but there's some important distinctions with, with self-awareness. Number one, self-awareness is not about figuring out all of your weaknesses and, and working on those. I think that's where a lot of people go wrong with self-awareness. They figure out that, oh, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that, I need to improve on this, I need to get better at that. And what happens is they spend all of their energy on the negative. When what true self-awareness and what harnessing self-awareness really encompasses is focusing on your strengths, focusing on what makes you, you, and celebrating you. There's no comparison with self-awareness. It's not who am I versus this person, so I need to increase these so that I can become that. It's about figuring out who in the world you are. Until you figure out who you are, there's no reason to even spend a second trying to develop because you're trying to develop you until you know who you is, then how can you do that? And so it's figuring out those strengths and weaknesses, but going all in on your strengths. The weaknesses are that's just something that you got to delegate out. You got to figure out what things that you can avoid, what things that you can pay other people to do, get other people to do. Um, certainly that there's going to be some things in there uh, that you may have to still do, but your focus does not need to be coming out of this um kind of journey through self-awareness, the, the purpose is not to then spend all of your time trying to correct all the things that you're bad at so then you can become a better person. It's 100% about focusing all of your energy and building a system and an infrastructure around you to be able to do the things that are your strengths, that are your natural skills uh, and abilities. 
take ownership and taking ownership, it's, it's a, really, it's just about power. Here's the thing about power and taking ownership. When you point the finger at someone else, you give them all the power. When you place blame on any situation, if you place blame on someone else, you give them the power. Oh, I failed at this because of him, because of her, because of this situation, because of this company, because of this environment. You took all the power away from you and you gave it to them. By taking ownership, what you're doing is you're taking back the power and you're able to harness that to do whatever in the world that you want to do. Uh, but it's all about power. So I'll tell you just a little bit about my story because that was my story. Like I was pointing fingers. I was playing the blame game. Um, three and a half years ago, uh, having gone through a bunch of different trials and, and tribulations, struggles, uh, a lot of pain, uh, through a, a terrible divorce, through a terrible termination from a career, and then kind of this downward spiral of sales job after sales job and a fear of going all in and having that being taken away from me. So just a pure contentment with just sitting back, blaming everything on everybody else, and allowing other people to feel sorry for me. I, I, I felt comfortable sitting back and saying, oh, these things happen to me, feel sorry for me, and just was, quite frankly, I was just lazy uh, for a number of years. And it wasn't until I turned that hand around and pointed at myself and took personal responsibility, AKA took ownership, that everything started uh, to change. So many of you out there right now are playing the blame game. Uh, it's probably one of the most common struggles that I see or one of the most common obstacles that people have to get past in order to make it to that next level. It's playing the blame game. And so by taking ownership, you take back all the power. By becoming more self-aware, you're able to discover what these things are to begin with. And that takes me to the next topic, which is what is it in your life that you're not owning? So when we talk about taking ownership, we're talking about taking ownership in a lot of different areas of your life, but what areas are you not owning? Is it with your family? Is it with your spouse? Is it at work? What particular area at work? Is it with cold calling? Is it with following up with prospects? Is it with customer service after the sale has been made? Is it as an entrepreneur? Is it a million different things, but what are you not owning? And here's a more difficult and a far more awkward question that I'll ask you. What is the one area of your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? I'll repeat that. What is the one area in your life that you're pretending is not a problem? A little hint for you, that thing that instantly just went into your head, that's it. Like 100%, without a doubt, that's it. My biggest recommendation, the biggest thing that you can take out of this podcast today is to get that figured out and start working on that. Because until you start working on that, then everything else doesn't matter. Until you can get over the situation that you obviously haven't been able to get over already because it's still an issue. If you could do it by yourself, you already would have. Until you get through that, there's really no reason to even discuss any other self-development, any other tactics, any other ways to hack anything. And what I know of me is probably similar to you in that you have these areas and it's not like it's a surprise to you. Any area that you're thinking of right now, any problem that you're thinking about, it's been a problem for a while. It's, it's not new news. And so you've done that same thing. You've said, ah, oh, it's, that's not an issue. And you push it under the rug for another year, push it under the rug for another week, made it past another weekend. And, and so, I highly encourage whatever that was for you, like whatever that thing is that you're pretending isn't a problem, you need to figure it out. The best way to do that is, is gonna be to get an accountability partner. And in my opinion, it needs to be an accountability partner of the same sex that you can talk to about this issue. Again, if you could do it on your own, you already would have. And so you need someone in your life that can be an ear 
to just listen to this issue that you have and then be an accountability partner and hold you to the things that you are going to commit to doing moving forward. Uh, it's critical. You can't do it on your own. Got to have some help. Uh, whether that's professional help or whether that's just a friend, a mentor, um, a spouse, a sibling, could be anybody. Uh, but you need someone in your life that can enable you uh, to get past it. And so that's that's my biggest piece of advice coming out of this podcast. Um, but just a couple of quick tactical, like step by step of how to take ownership. Number one, you got to figure out what your why is. So as you go through this process of self awareness, you're figuring out who you are. Um, you start figuring out what you want, like what, what's your North Star? Like what, what do you ultimately want to do with your life? What's success look like for you? Uh, and you need to get clear on it. You need to get detailed on it um, down to the very, very small detail of what it looks like, what it feels like, what it tastes like, what it smells like. And you need to start picturing these things and envisioning these things daily. Uh, whether that's you know your family, the type of home you're living in, the type of car you're driving, the type of people you're associated with, the things that you're doing on a daily basis, like like what is it? Where do you want to go, and and what is your why? A strong why is going to get you through the tough times as you progress through life and as you reach obstacles. Like the why is what pushes through. Like the why is what gets you over these obstacles because you remember why you started, right? Like the obstacles are imminent. They're going to happen. They're, they're routine. You have to expect them to happen, but having a big enough why, if your why was the quote, if your why is big enough, your excuses won't be, it's, it's just how it works. And so keeping that why in the forefront of your mind uh, is going to be super important. The second is just making a decision. Like, it's as simple as just saying it out loud, writing it down, and making that decision that you are going to take ownership. Whatever that issue was that you thought of when I asked the question that I am making a decision today to do something about it, and here's what I'm gonna do. Write that down, tell somebody, but make a decision because until you make a decision, you're gonna stay where you've been for how long now? So make a decision. Accountability partners are going to be huge. Again, you can't do this alone. So the third step is once you make that decision to do something about it, once you make the decision to take ownership, once you make the decision to turn that you pointing out to you pointing to yourself, you got to find people that can help you. you got to find people that are on the same trajectory <laughs> as you. And you have to start surrounding yourself with positive influences. you got to start auditing the people that you're surrounding yourself with. And so that's step three. Step four, commit. You just gotta commit to it. How many times has that issue that you have come up, you've said, I'm gonna do something about it, you didn't commit, and here we are. So this time, this one time, I would just implore, like, please just make a commitment. Make a commitment to taking ownership. I promise you there's no better time than now, except maybe yesterday. Uh, but but just, just do it. Make a commitment to taking ownership, to taking ownership of your life and where you're headed. Uh, and lastly, I can, I, I'm completely empathetic with the fear of making this commitment, the fear of taking ownership, the fear of tackling Whatever issue that was uh, that came to your mind when I asked, again, what is the one area in your life that you're pretending isn't a problem, I am 100% empathetic, as I told you in my story, because that was me. Like, I, I still had it and hadn't dealt with it. And it was just fear. Like, I didn't want people to know. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to deal with it. But that fear, that fear alone is the only thing holding you back. It's the only thing holding you back from wherever in the world that you want to take your life to. And so I'd leave you with that encouragement that this unlock is like, it's like unlock, it's, it's the biggest door you could unlock and walk through to make a transformation in your life. Like we talk about looking back and saying like, hey, there was this one point where I feel like everything just kind of changed. Like this is that thing. Like it's, it's that thing for everyone. Uh, so whatever that is for you, it could, be, it could be seemingly insignificant. It could be, I've got to start working 
out in the mornings and not the afternoons so I can spend more time with my daughter. I've got to start reading 10 pages a day of a book. Or it could be like, I've got to stop doing freaking heroin. <laughs> like, like, quite frankly, like, it could be serious. Like, I 100% know that because of the way we distribute these podcasts and, and all of our social media, that it's reaching someone that it's a significant issue, that it is a critical, critical issue that needs to be dealt with. Uh, and I would just encourage you to deal with it. Um, if we can be of any help in dealing with it, please send us a Facebook message, direct message on Instagram. You can send me a personal email to info at tylerharrispage.com, uh, info at tylerharrispage.com, and we would love uh, to talk to you about it uh, or at least point you in the right direction of someone that can, uh, can help you with whatever in the world that issue may be. Um, this is kind of a really downer of a uh, Sales Wolf episode, but I think it's an important one uh, because taking ownership is the key to success, not just in sales, but in your life. It's the key to success, taking ownership, taking back the power, figuring out who you are, figuring out what you want, figuring out your why, and then figuring out how to deal with that thing that you've been putting off for a long, 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 long time. And so with that, this is episode 63 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and I am your lonely host today, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!